What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch Doctor Who. We're back to this series. So, before we get into this episode, if you want to see the full length reaction, unedited, uninterrupted, the whole thing from start to end to this episode, and pretty much every other episode that I've done to Doctor Who, as well as Torchwood, and pretty much every other show, you know, back there, movies and stuff, yeah, it's available on my Patreon link in the description. Also, early access thing if you want to see the next episode. Actually, hold on. Let me see. How the, uh, let me take a look at the timeline. So, the next episode will be of Torchwood, actually. So, yeah, so if you want to see the next episode of Torchwood, that should be available on my Patreon. And then it's going to be episode four of Torchwood as well. And then we're going to go back to Doctor Who episode two and then we're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna do two episodes of doctor who and then two torchwood then one 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 you yeah, know i'll explain the timeline more as we get to more stuff but the next two is gonna be torchwood and that's available right now on patreon so check it out early access thing full length reaction thing all of that is there thank you for any and all support that you have thrown my way as a thank you from me to you in return for your continued support on Patreon, you will be getting some merch from me. Speaking of merch, by the way, I do have a separate merch store as well. If you just want to buy the merch, link in the description to that as well. Thank you. Really, I mean it. Thank you for all the support patrons, YouTube members, subscribers, commenters, likers, sharers, even dislikers. Thank you for giving me your time. Now then this episode i'm excited because it is the third series and first episode of the third series called smith and jones now at the end of the christmas special i thought maybe donna will be sticking around but you know comments being comments i don't now know that she will not be sticking around and we're gonna get a new companion so i'm kind of excited about that as well um who's going to be the new person we just got donna for one episode and that was that she was great um i mean i get it she was kind of annoying but like i didn't find it like uh, like i get it that she was annoying i just personally didn't find it annoying i thought she was great but i mean i get it i i get how she can be annoying that's what i'm trying to say i don't know if it makes sense what i'm saying but that's what i'm trying to say is that i get your point she is annoying i just didn't find her annoying i guess i have more of a tolerance <laughs> for that kind of stuff but she was a bit loud and a bit you know in your face and i can see how some people would be annoyed by that i wasn't i thought she was great but anyways enough about her we're gonna get a new uh, companion this one I'm very excited to see who's going to be and how that person is going to be as well because the companions are very similar to the doctors have different personalities and well they are different people actually different people the doctor uh, is supposed to be the same person but they still have different personalities so when you have actually separate people and they really should have separate personalities and so I'm very much looking forward to that um we've had two companions so far um i'll uh say this much rose remains my number one but that's because it's only been two but i let's see how this one goes this new companion and then i'll tell you at the end of this companion <laughs> whenever this one leaves you know where i would put her or him well actually i don't know are the companions supposed to be all male or female well you know what don't answer that at all we'll find out eventually isn't it so let's just do this without any further ado here we go So I was informed that at some point, Doctor Who, American and US version, the BBC iPlayer version and HBO Max version will be the same exact one. Um, and so therefore then I'll be uploading only one full length reaction, which should cover both UK and US versions. But I think series three is not where that'll happen. So this should have two full length reactions, one for BBC, one for HBO. So play the correct one for the right, you know, like a more closer sing than the other oh i know her it's a nightmare because dad won't listen and i'm telling you mom is going how do why do i know her i've seen her before in this show i think yeah well why do i have to tell them why can't you hold on that's mum. i'll call you back very busy maybe i've seen her in a talk show or something probably in that or maybe she has been on the show before i don't know I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. <laughs> wow, she's really busy. And all with family and friends. So I guess that's a good problem to have. <laughs> now take me shopping, big boy. Okay, <laughs> mm well, that's definitely something you want to hear. Okay. So she's the new companion. Was you trying to prove something to her there in the future or maybe in the past or something? Do you know what I mean? 
Because he was like, like so. He did something with his tie. Whoa. I hate it when the thing, when that happens. It happens all the time. Sometimes cards and stairs and stuff. Touching metal. Dizziness could be a sign of early onset diabetes. Hardly early onset, if you'll forgive me, Miss Finnegan. Any more ideas? <laughs> well, it's that bike dude. Like, oh, there's a couple of them. Now then, Mr. Smith, a very good morning to you. How are you today? Oh, not so bad. Still a bit. <laughs> okay. John Smith. All oh, right. That's, um, Sarah Jane episode. He was, he said he was John Smith, right? Chancellor Street this morning. Came up to me and took your tie off. What'd I do that for? Oh, that's in the future. Okay, that's in the future. Okay, okay, cool, cool. cool. Called it. Like you. Have you got a brother? No, not anymore. Just me. Not anymore, so he had one. Okay. More infirm and weary, Miss Jones. So she's the Jones, he's the Smith. Okay, cool. Yeah, he has two. <laughs> First with the patient's child. Whoa. That happened to me this morning. No, it happens. Like the shark thingy. It's like a normal thing, isn't it? The thing is a form of static electricity. Yeah, static electricity, yep. Quite. And then I got electrocuted. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. On fake tan. So I feel like I've seen her too. It's not raining here. I like I've seen both of these people. Martha, have you seen the rain? Why is everyone fussing about rain? It's well, why don't you just look at it then? Oh, it's the Matrix! <laughs> what the hell was that? You're right. Where's the doctor? Where is he? Oh, we're on the moon! Whoa, hold on, did you see? <laughs> she was like, we're on the moon, and her reflection in the mirror didn't even move. Or the, I'm not the mirror, but the glass, or whatever that is. They got teleported to the moon. Lovely. Yeah, explain that one, Mr. Doctor. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss, no. Did that building disappear? Yeah, vanished. Big Ben, let's go, clock tower. London Eye! <laughs> we lose all the air! Yeah. They're not exactly airtight. If the air was gonna get sucked... Yeah, that's true as well. But it didn't. So how come? Very good point. Brilliant insight. What was your name? Martha Stewart. <laughs> Jones, yeah. Can't be! But obviously we are, so don't waste my time. Martha... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay. NHS London. Okay, she was in this show before. That's what I was looking up. It's the teeth. I just, yeah, I, I don't forget that. I'm into weird stuff in it. Well, eyes are in the food, but eyes here, the two teeth at the front. <laughs> How many people want to go to the moon? And here we are. You don't even need any masks and suits and stuff. And gravity is just fine. Like, no, what? It's terrestrial. It's got to be. E.T. phone home. Spaceship flying into Big Ben. Christmas. Those Cybermen things. Yeah, Army of the Dead. It's not Smith. That's not my real name. Who are you then? I'm the Doctor. <laughs> Mr. Doctor Smith. Ah. Horse field. Yeah, okay, cool. That means this is the only air we've got. Yeah. How many people in this hospital? Dunno, a thousand? <laughs> okay then. Suffocating. Yeah. Why would anyone do that? You just said why. What do you mean? Ask him yourself. Oh, she means why would anybody... I apologize. <laughs> why would anybody do this situation, not suffocate? Kind of reminds me of Star Wars. That's aliens. Jadoon. Jadoon. Oh, these are the bike dudes. Yeah? You know the black suit thing earlier? She's still in university. I am never going to see her again. But I need help, Mr. Stoker. I can't do anything. Because some of the frames are all over. Uh, I was going to say, she's uh, she may be up to something. I'm sorry. You see, there are great tests to come. And people as well. <laughs> Blood. Specifically, yours. That snap was way too close to the mic, I feel like, the way it sounded. You see, I was only 
salt deficient because I'm so very good at absorbing it. Okay. So she's salty AF. She absorbs all the salts. Who are you? A salt absorber. A straw. <laughs> That's a nice juice box. Nice teeth as well. It can break through the force field, eh? So why is everybody running away? Shouldn't they have a conversation with these people first? Well, okay. I don't look like they want to have a conversation. Okay, run. <laughs> oh, because sitting behind a chair is going to help, right? It's not as if they can't see you. Whoa, whoa. Let's go, man's rapping. Cut off all suspects. Sound like you're saying cut off. Uh, they've got sonic screwdrivers? Looks like it. Oh, look down there, you got a little shot. <laughs> this guy loves, yeah, this guy loves the shop. We were, he was complaining about not, ha not having one in the... I forgot which episode. Territory. According to Galactic Law, they've got no jurisdiction over the Earth, so they isolate. The cat one, I think. Oh, okay. Was it that one? Ah, well, who cares? One of them. One of them with Rose. And actually, he did with Donna as well. Good thinking. No, I wish it were that simple. Making a catalogue, that means we're after something non-human, which is very bad news for me. Because <laughs> I'm non-human. That's a me. Is he though? He's giving you the rock eyebrow, whatever that's called, man. The stinky eyebrow. Identify humans and find the transgressor. Find it. Hmm, so he brought the mirror. And so they're looking for him now. Okay, see. See what they say. All they want to do is shine this light thing. It's all right. They're not going to hurt us. Just listen to them. Shine this light thing. This light thing's called the Sonic Shoes. The crime. Charge physical assault. Plea guilty. Check jury executioner. Literal. Gone. Didn't have to do that. Justice is swift. Okay then, Taylor is also swift, ha! Huh? I was just travelling past, I swear, I was just wandering, I wasn't looking for trouble. Honestly, I wasn't, but I noticed these plasma cores around the hospital, like that lightning, that's a- I'm trying to read what's on the board, but it's blurry. Going on inside, turns out the plasma coils with the jadoon up above. But what are they looking for? Nurse's notes. Thank you. Apparently. Like me. Meh. Apparently. <laughs> Whatever it is, can't you just leave the Jadoon to find it? If they declare the hospital guilty of harboring a fugitive, they'll sentence it to execution. Yeah, I already did one of yours. Thing first. Oh! You see this? <laughs> with unusual symptoms, maybe there's a backup. Just keep working, I'll go and ask Mr. Stoker, he might know. Oh yeah, Mr. Stoker's got stoked. Yeah. Mr. Stoker is now someone's juice box. Lovely. Kill her! I've restored the backup. I found her. You did what? <laughs> so there are two non humans on there then. <laughs> I wonder which one they're looking for. Maybe both. <laughs> yeah, find out, bro. No! Radiation on. How did you do? Increase the radiation by five thousand. <laughs> okay. Kill them dead. <laughs> but isn't that kill them dead? Rungan radiation. We used to play with Rungan bricks in the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then. Expel it. <clears throat> Take a shit. <laughs> Done. You're completely mad. And totally and utterly mad. Yep. Dopamine premix. I have that poster in the other room as well. She was one of the patients, but 
Go on, Al, my sonic screwdriver. She had this straw like some sort of vampire. I love my sonic screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that mark is, okay. The plus is human. Mmm. We're gonna find her and show that you do. Come on! They're looking for her. Attention. Cross, okay, so cross is not it. Check is it, I presume. That's the thing about slabs. They always travel in pairs. What about you? I mean, what? He always travels alone or with a companion or partner. There you go. Humans, we're stuck on the moon, running out of air. <laughs> personal questions. <laughs> As humans for you. You're an alien. Non-human. Oh my god, you really are. <laughs> Oi, nearly. Took him that long to shoot. Get there up and out and shoot. Doesn't take that long, you know? I had the whole hallway. I got big lung reserves that won't slow them down. Where's Mr. Stoker's office? This way. This way? Oh, yeah, he's dead. So there's pictures of patients or maybe the employees, like the nurses and. Oh. Mm. The frame fixed itself. Wasn't it like tilted? A frame on the wall. <laughs> She's like, maybe not to you, it means nothing. <laughs> yeah. Royal Hope L'Hopital. No things. I mean, rhinos from space. And we're on the moon. Grabbing space rhinos with guns on the moon. Explain dumb. Suspected. Non-human element confirmed. Authorized full scan. Execute. <laughs> magnetic resonance imaging thing. Like a, a giant almost sort of a magnet. I did magnetics GCSE. Wow. <laughs> but all the same. <laughs> Tesla. Ooh, that's a bit strong. Is that the Model X? <laughs> Out a magnetic pulse that'll fry the brain stems of every living thing within 250,000. I, I know, by the way, it's a unit. For me, safe in this room. No Sherman. Uh, but, um, hold on, hold on. I did. I Tesla, is. And it's also a scientist. Nikola Tesla. No, that's weird. You're talking like you're some sort of an alien. Quite so. No. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> in hospital. What has this place got an ET department? It's a perfect hiding place. Blood banks downstairs for a Potentially. I'm afraid this is going to hurt. But if it's any consolation, the dead don't tend to remember. Well, that's true. Whoa, that straw went through him? We will need this. What's that for? Compensation. <laughs> Compensation. Oh, lovely. She's sucking him up. This is nothing. This means nothing. Information deceased. Oh, so she has his blood, and so they're gonna scan her, and she's gonna not going to be a human anymore. She killed him. She did it. She murdered him. Authority over human. She's not human. Scanner. But she's not. She is simi. Wait a minute. Yeah. You drank his blood. Yeah, the doctor's blood. Scanner. Non-human. There you go. Ugh. The doctor's trap work. Oh, but I'm as human as they come. Uh, they do come, but not like you. And you confess. Confess. I'm proud of it. Slap. So why are you hiding then if you're proud of it? You're either proud or you're not. Verdict guilty. Sentence execution. Magnetic overload. Through the window, through the wall, to the sweat trap down my. <laughs> All units withdraw. They were here for her, okay. Ooh, oxygen's almost gone. What about the air? We're, we're running out of air. 
doctor's gotta wake up. He'll have a solution. He always does. But he's gotta wake up, though. <sighs> this means nothing. <laughs> three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Isn't there like a song? You gotta go like this because of the two. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. The doctor to the rescue. His uh, sonic screwdriver is not working either. That was quite instant. Isn't there a certain amount of time that you can hold your breath? I think it's like over a minute or something. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have it. He's lost quite a lot of blood as well. All out. And these guys have left too. It didn't reverse it. It's raining, Martha. It's raining on the moon. Uh oh. Right, so they're gonna go back to Earth now. Okay. And they're back. Who's she? I know her. What have I seen her in? Probably seen her in, in another episode of Doctor Who as well, or maybe Torchwood. Only seen two episodes of Torchwood, so. Wait, but she can't Aliens of London. Oh, He's a gun. And it all just proves Mr. Saxon right. We're not alone in the universe. There's life out there. Mr. Saxon. Who's Mr. Saxon? I am not staying in there to be insulted. You didn't mean it, sweetheart. <laughs> you look healthy. No, I did not. I said orange. <laughs> Disrespect to me. She's never liked me. Oh, I can't think why after. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Martha, practically accused her of making the whole thing up. Mum, I don't mind. Just leave it. Oh, I've been to the moon as if. So this is why it's not a good idea to bring her dad. Can't handle. Remember how you asked what's wrong with her? She did, I heard her. <laughs> Make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> but talking to your family again. Oh, stay. Have a nice Don't you dare. Oh, I'm putting my oh, foot down. You tell me. Make a fool of me. <laughs> well, your foot meant nothing. Nice. Hey, there's the doctor. You want to escape all this? It's a go. Esports. <sighs> oh, Saxon. Mr. Saxon is always right. More peaceful than down here. You never even told me who you are. He's a politician who's into con con conversion con con theories. Whatever that word is. You might fancy a trip. What, into space? Uh, but I can't. I've got exams. Man. If it helps. I can travel in time as well. <laughs> I can. Come on now, that is going too far. I'll prove it. Come on, tell me the Thai thing was approved thing, uh, you know, <laughs> English. <laughs> He's gonna be back with, uh... He's back. Is it Thai? No, but... That was this... <laughs> yeah. You can travel in time. All right, cool. I'm so happy I got that one. To work. Crossing into established events is strictly forbidden. Okay. Except for cheap tricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the TARDIS. TARDIS. Relative dimension in space. Your spaceship's made of wood. Mm. Well, speaking of wood. <laughs> Meant nothing. <laughs> Oh, no, no. 
It's bigger on the inside. It's huge. How does it do that? It's wood. It's wood and it's huge. Words I've never heard from us. It's bigger on the inside. Easy. <laughs> oh, lovely. But it's a crew. Well, you are it. It's me. And you. Guests. I mean, some friends traveling alongside. I had, it was recently, a friend of mine. Friends. And we were together. Anyway. Oh, no mention of Donna? Okay. With her family. Happy. She's fine. She's, not that you're replacing her. <laughs> well, you're the one that kissed me. Mm, it meant nothing. <laughs> And if you will wear Well, speaking of genetic transfers. And then travel all the way across the universe just to ask me on a date. <laughs> the record? I'm not remotely interested. I not yet. Humans. Good. Oh, she is very much remotely interested. <laughs> Ready? No. Mm. Off we go. Are you ever ready for something like this? Okay. Welcome aboard, Miss Jones. Mm. My pleasure, Mr. Smith. Sarah Jane Smith. It's jo Jones Smith. No. That's the end. All right, that's the end. All right, pretty pretty good episode. Pretty good start to the new series and introduction to a new companion as well. Before I get in. Deeper into it, though, if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode and pretty much everything else that I've done, Doctor Who, you know, Torchwood, Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, Lord of the Rings, you know, uh, Marvel stuff, DC stuff, Harry Potter too, <laughs> you know, all that good stuff and more, you can. It's available on my Patreon right now also. Next episode should be available right now on my uh, Patreon as well. And as I say next episode, I realize next episode will be Torchwood. So I'm speaking of Torchwood when I say next episode. But next episode of Doctor who will also be available earlier not right now but earlier on patreon than on youtube so yeah check it out thank you uh everyone for supporting me all this time commenting sharing liking watching all of it means a lot to me so thank you so very much and uh yeah do you have a merch store now as well link to that in the description down below as well now then about this episode pretty good episode like i said enjoyed it quite a bit a nice setup to a new series and a new companion. Not that she's replacing Rose. So they, she he kind of forgot Donna. Uh, well, that was a Christmas special. So is that like separate? Is that what it is? Is that why he kind of ignored her? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I like uh, the new companion. She's in a way similar to Rose. I think that's why I like her. The, her personality, I mean. Um, and I like the banter between the Doctor and her. Similar to Rose. Uh, I like the banter between Donna and uh, Doctor as well. I like her energy. I like her vibe. Um, I think it's going to be good. So three for three now. All females. Maybe we'll get a male at some point. Who knows? It seems like the Doctor goes for people who are one, um, very curious and um, are able to think outside of the box, but also people who might have some issues at home. Donna, Rose... And now Martha as well. We saw her family and how she was or how they were. So I'm not entirely sure, but it seems that way. So I'm just a saying. Um, and um, hold on. Let me look up that girl because I feel like I, I've seen her before. Oh, she was in Loki. That's where I've seen her. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. That was... <sighs> She was that that officer dude in Loki in the time traveling thing. I forgot what it was called. It, oh man, I forgot all about Loki. Yeah, yeah, that show was so good. I heard there's like a season two or something coming out. I'm excited about that. But yeah, that's what that's where she was. Okay, cool. So yeah, Loki. That's on the channel as well. If you want to check it out, I like the the whole thing that went on on the moon as well. It's pretty interesting. The other person blending in or trying to blend in on how they did it. It was pretty cool as well. And uh, for once, the these aliens weren't entirely there to do anything against the humans. They were just there to do their job and they did their job and they were done with it. Gone afterwards, you know, did not intend anything other than just that. Finding this person, getting this person, serving justice, going home. 
that's it nothing more so that was quite refreshing as well to see aliens not portrayed as you know these bad people or even although the doctor is an alien and he's not exactly bad but you know what i mean um someone other than the doctor they're all almost always bad so that was pretty good to see although the, the meaning of their justice is a bit weird you know someone hits you and poof, you make them explode uh, although they shouldn't have hit you in the first place so you know, you know uh, there's that i mean if they don't hit you then you're good <laughs> But the punishment is a bit severe. I guess they are aliens after all, so let's not forget that part. But yeah, all in all, a great start to the season. And I'm very much looking forward to the rest of the series. I say season, I meant series. And yeah, I hope you're, you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, I've been doing plenty of other things as well. Check out my channel. You'll find it, movies, shows, all kinds of stuff. If there's something you'd like me to see as well, let me know. I'll check it out as well. Thank you, patrons. YouTube members and subscribers all the same and I'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice